Hello! Thank you for tuning in. This is Esther T. Bobbies giving you another episode on how to easily propagate succulents. This time, we, w- we are talking about stem cuttings. This is the first succulent that we are going to cut. This one is Moonstone. It's so beautiful. I started uh, planting this one or growing this one two years ago by leaf propagation. Actually, I only have one mother plant of this Moonstone. Then I propagated it from leaves. Then these are the results. This needs to be cut and replanted because if you notice the cut is this is the third one actually i already uh, do stem cuttings of this before if you notice there are two new uh, growth here one and two but this is a problem if you are not going to expose it to sunlight it will become etiolated so it bows bows down so I have to cut this one and expose this one to sunlight so this is the third one I don't know where it is so I'll just put a stick to let it stand like that Now. Here's another one stone. I will cut this one. And you notice this is crested. Crested um, stone. It has a red cells here. And one is from uh, propagation from the leaf. So I will cut it again. This is the fourth one. So I need to transfer this one because the container is already damaged. But before transferring it, I have to cut, make cuttings or stem cuttings in here so that I can propagate this. This is the fifth one that we are going to cut. So this is propagated from leaves but it grows longer now and attenuated so I'm going to cut again this one to propagate okay. the stem that were left will begin to have new growth so we'll check that one later on. So remove the weeds. This is the problem here. You need to really maintain this one. You need to remove some weeds and then to check it if there are orchids and many bugs. So you need to check the container. That's how you are going to take care of your succulents so that you will have a healthy succulents if you notice there are one two three five five stems in here but it's not that healthy so maybe it it will grow another another stem so it will grow healthy i'm going to fertilize this one again so that it will grow healthy I purchased new pots here so white pots again so it is from Unitop I have seven of it the purpose is to really transfer the moonstones in here the stem cuttings to propagate it in here so these are my new pots these are the stem cuttings that I cut so I'm going to plant it in a container on it, a pot that I purchase 
a while ago. So that is my soil mix guys. So one two parts soil, one part sawdust fine, one part sawdust coarse and we have the pumice I used here one part also so uh, you simply have to mix all of this to create your succulent mix you have to mix this one thoroughly I now have my the soil placed in the plastic pots or in the containers that I prepared. It's ready now for planting. So I have here my succulents. I'm going to plant it now. In here. Maybe I should remove some of the leaves below so that I can stick it at least two inches from the top of the container. Ah! Oh, it's gone now. Like that. Don't worry, I will place sticks in here. What I usually do, I play sticks.
I'm going to add a small coat. Sprinkle with a small coat after captainizing. So this is another result guys after top dressing and sprinkling with Osmo coat that is my propagation using stem cuttings so thank you for watching guys I hope you like my video so do consider subscribing by clicking the like button or by liking adding your comments and subs clicking the subscribe button you will need also to click the notification button so that you will be updated when i'm going to upload new videos thank you again and god bless